Hello buddy, welcome back to another episode of Just Wait, I'm playing Dark Souls 3, The Weapon Playthroughs. Last episode we did ourselves uh, Anna Londo, and today we're going to go and deal with Here's the Dungeon, there we go. <laughs> but first, let me go and upgrade my Estus, since I do have an Estus shard left. And then after this episode I'm going to be grinding off camera to get the Corvian Scythe and the, uh, the other thing. <laughs> And the Pontiff Knights uh, side. Let me go over to the decent manor. And let's get a move on. Get a move on. I should be fine with the damage that I'm doing, right? How much damage do I do? 325, that's fine. At least it feels fine, I feel. It's not amazing. But it's fine. I'm scratch my nose. Pillage these remains. Not get burned by this dude. My god, still not enough. <laughs> Another piece of fire with armor. How would that actually look on me? Just out of curiosity. Well, I feel like the, in my opinion, the, the, the fire witch armor looks really good, but just not with this character. Oh, I just have to wait over here. I thought I needed to go down there to make him appear. That's apparently wrong. Interesting to know. Jesus. There we go. Alva, Seeker of the Spend. He's dead. It's gonna light me a bonfire. Right, let's see how we're gonna do against these jailers. Because that can go in all kinds of magical ways. Uh, three attacks. Well, it's fine. It's fine. As long as I can kill him in one... In one, like, stamina bar, everything's fine. And because I stun him pretty dang hard, <laughs> they're, um... They're not gonna be able to look at me, normally. So I shouldn't lose much health from them looking at me. Which is also pretty nice. Keep forgetting what this thing drops. I think it's some form of Titanite there. Twinkling, right? Oh no, Titanite scale, okay. That's interesting. Where we get the... Uh the uh, the undead settlement representatives. <laughs> I love bouncing off of walls when you charge up attack. It's actually quite, uh, quite useful in a certain way, bouncing off of walls. Makes it so that your attack animations end faster. Which can be useful in certain situations. But it also leaves you open for retaliation in other situations, so it's not the best tactic. Surprise, bitch! <laughs> Return surprise. Oh, boy. Nope, 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 nope. <laughs> Don't want to get one more combo by the... Uh, by these dudes, because they can definitely kill me. Oh! <laughs> I love that. Reminds me of the Electro Burst uh, sound from the anime. It's like... <laughs> I love it so much. That's one of my favorite things ever. It's just like Electro Burst in the anime. It's it's amazing. The one who created that needs to be... Needs to get a raise. Right. 
Ready? Where can I summon over here? Gwenterson. Damn, you're ugly. That's definitely something that uh, Magus would say. <laughs> Damn, you're ugly. Well, it's okay, which I'm gonna need for Zigvard. Then we have the, the baskets getting pooped out. Let me see if I can kill him. I wanna see how many souls they give me. 143, that's not a lot. That's a moss fruit, right? Yep. Might as well, now that I'm already done. <laughs> Almost, so. Yeah, they're not worth fighting. They don't give me that many souls, so. I think I'll just leave them for the next uh, two places. Or just the next time that I play this game. I just kicked that rat in the face. <laughs> Unintentional, but quite satisfying, actually. We're gonna kick him again. <laughs> okay, I don't think I've ever done that before, and it's amazing. I love it. Just kicking a giant rat in the face. I love that animal abuse. Well, those rats kind of need to be put out of their misery anyway, so... And this is a game. Well, it depends though, like... It totally depends on a lot of things. <laughs> Those things are enemies, so they need to die. If the thing is not an enemy or not trying to kill me, then I don't feel the need to kill them unless if they are ugly or... No, no. <laughs> yeah. It is... Im hmm. You know what? Actually, I don't know how to say this. I don't know how to defend myself after saying that I like kicking rats in the face. <laughs> I guess there's no way for me to defend myself. Shoot me down if you want to. But in the end, it's just a game, so. And it's also rats. Like giant, disgusting rats. I'm gonna shut up. There's not really a good way for me to defend that behavior. Wow. Got all these baby dudes. I hate these enemies, by the way. They're definitely this game's most uncomfortable enemy, in my opinion. Just from looks, by the way, not even by behavior. Because when it comes to the things that are the scariest, in my opinion, it's definitely these boys over here. Oh! Titanite right, right, scale. Somebody's probably gonna notice me now. No? Nope. I'm gonna run that. See you later, shitlords. <laughs> and I have the propane. The propane? The propane. <laughs> the propane capital. Sure. No. Propane capital. With the good old gargoyles. Headless gargoyles. Which means that you cannot crit them. You can crit the ones in Lofty Castle with heads. But they usually die before they even get stunned, so... Gotta go Flame Spear. It's a pretty cool weapon, but... I guess it's also a pretty good weapon, like, it's not a bad weapon. You just need a specific build for it to be, like, really good. At least that's what I think. There we go. I kind of like these silences that I'm doing. <laughs> well, like, kind of. I feel like it's also, um, in this particular game, you can hear it a lot when, when there's a silence because there's no music. 
almost no music. A lot of the times, in any case. Like, except for boss battles and all jazz, but then I'm, then I'm usually focusing on a boss battle, so... But outside of it, it's, it can sometimes be so ridiculously quiet in this game. And if, the, if I'm at that point not talking, it's like, oh. <laughs> then it can really feel like the silence. Yo. Hello, friend. There you go. Give me that twinkling. For my good old uh, Pontiff Scythe. I love that dog barking. It can be worse though. It's not too loud. It's not doing it right in front of my room, which is pretty dang handy. Because <laughs> if it's doing it right in front of my room, then I can definitely hear it. Call of the sounds of the hippo men. A pretty unsettling enemy in this game. <laughs> I would say that Irithyll Dungeon is the most unsettling place in the game, so. At least in my opinion. Oh boy. Oh, I guess you're dead. Are you? Hello. Oh, okay. Oh, all right. And the cover does a gold serpent ring. Which is just what I need. For my grinding uh, adventures. Question mark. I think these things are very weak to bleeding, right? Yep. I remember that correctly. <laughs> wow, double grab. Interesting maneuver, buddy. Nice. Let's go back to Firelink, I think. And of a size amount of souls, I've some this uh, upgrading stuff. Okay, um, so I can increase it by one damage. I'm gonna wait with that for now. Because I'm not sure when the scaling stops with... Well, yeah, I'm just not sure when the scaling stops with this weapon. And with stopping, I mean like when it turns into, hey, you want to increase this weapon's damage by one point? <laughs> and then I'm like, hmm, no. That's not really worth it at that point. Not too much, in any case. It can add up eventually, but I have other stats which are equally important to me, so. Mainly, endurance. Alright, uh, yeah, just let's go back to Profane Capital, because we gotta go and uh, kill your own the giant. I've just noticed something though. Something which is going to be a little bit of an issue in the next uh, playthrough. For one of the weapons in the next playthrough, I'm going to need 30 faith. But I'm also going to need 60 strength to be able to use all the weapons effectively. So, yeah. And then I would also need probably a sizable amount of endurance to be able to properly use those weapons. Yeah. That's, uh, that's gonna be interesting. If necessary, I'll overlevel myself a little bit. Just to get the stats that I need. There 
There we go. I guess I can heal up again. Normally I shouldn't have to heal too much during the battle against Yorm. Especially when uh, Secret is here. It's uh, when Secret is present in a the battle. There we go. I just stepped to the bleeding. You might be, but it's gonna take a long ass time, I'm pretty sure. You're done what now? No, 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 no. Is this sword still. Oh, you're kidding me. Wow. Fucking wasted. Okay, so if I hit his arm, that is a moment when I can actually stun him. His arm is a weakness. Yeah, look at the damage I'm doing against his arm. I managed to get him into second phase myself. Just going straight for uh, secret. And it's only this harm, by the way. <laughs> oh, he got stunned again. <laughs> yes, secret. I killed him. <laughs> nice. That's actually very good to know. So the arm where he wields his... Uh, yeah, the arm in which he wields his Great Machete is actually a weak point. Which makes about a lot of sense. It's one of the only places in the, uh, on his body that isn't armored. His head is also a weakness. Interesting. Okay. But this, of course, not easy to hit him in the arm. I would say. Biggest reason why is because... Well, yeah, it's the weapon. It's the arm where he uses weapon in, and as long as you don't have the storm ruler to stun him, it's probably going to be very difficult for me to hit that arm. But it is a weak point. He does take full damage on that part of his body, so that's very interesting. Once again, man, like I don't know, I don't even know how many hours I already spent on this game, but I keep on learning new things, new tactics, new ways to deal with certain situations. It's awesome. I love it. Let's see, so, and then it's only two damage, yeah. I'm gonna focus on uh, my endurance for the time being. Let's go and kill the dancer. And then I'll go and off camera grind for the weapons that I still need. And maybe also upgrade them. Well, I'm gonna upgrade them as far as I can. I know that I can probably get the Pontiff Knight uh, scythe. I can upgrade that one pretty far because it's only Twinking Titan Knight, of which I already have a sizable amount. And then we have... Um, the other one requires normal Titanite upgrading. And for that I can go up until large Titanite and that's it, I think. I only have 10 of those though. So we have the first level, which is 1. And 3. Um, wait. So 1, and then 2, which is then 3. And then plus 3 is 6. And then plus 4 is 10. Is that it? Do you need 10 only? I don't remember how many you need for the twinkling upgrades. I'll go and take a look. Well, yeah, I'm definitely going to take a look, but I might not have enough Twinkling Titan to be able to fully upgrade that weapon. Ta 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 two shot. Your shield ain't going to do shit. That's actually the thing that I like the most about Scythes. The fact that shields are just stupid. Like, they're, they're useless against you. Somebody's fighting the Dancer. I'm also about to do that. Fuck your chair. Give me a bowl. There you go. I want to have myself some soup. But I will first have to fight the soup guardian. How are you susceptible to bleeding? I guess we're gonna find out. Also, how much damage did I just do? I feel like I'm doing a pretty sizable amount of damage against this, uh, against this boss. Roll.
Also, trying to hit her in the face is a pretty dang good idea. Because if you hit her enough in the face, you can do a critical attack. But it's not a necessity, so... If you can't do it, or like if it's very difficult to do, it probably isn't that good of an idea to do it. Because it's going to bring you into a dangerous situation. And against the dancer, you don't really want to be in a dangerous situation. <laughs> because the dancer in general is a dangerous situation. I'm going to get out of there, because... That's going to do some damage to me. Let's go and get out of there. Oh, okay. I guess I wasn't uh, far enough away. Nice suit. Roll and roll. I have not enough stamina. That could have ended very badly. But no matter. I did not die, which is the most important part. Alright. Now I can take a little break. <laughs> By farming. Depending on how long it's going to take me, of course. Because uh, in the last place, it did not take me too long. And I'm actually kind of hoping that it doesn't take me too long, though. Alright. So... <laughs> then plus... Six. Oh, no. Eight and nine. Okay, yeah. No, the increasing in damage is not that high anymore. It'll probably become higher once I upgrade this weapon further, but yeah. Alright people, that's gonna be it. Hope you enjoyed this episode of Just Us playing Dark Souls 3 The Weapon Playthroughs. And next episode we're gonna go and deal with... Uh... Something. <laughs> now we're gonna deal with Lothric Castle actually. Like the beginning of Lothric Castle. So I can get myself some Titanite chunks and then we're gonna go over to the Consumed King Osiris. Goodbye.